morning, and welcome to Daily Dhamma, a letter to our children. Today is May 24th, and our reading is Abstain from False Speech. This Buddhist precept is about more than not lying. False speech includes dissembling, sophistry, fudging the truth, and verbal trickery. Conning people is taboo, so hip, slick, and cool political and social snow jobs are frowned upon. Tough luck for politicians and other propagandists. This is a call for mindfulness. The second quarter is about sincerity, and the theme of May is right speech. And what they have in common, among other things, is taking a look, an honest look, at our motives and intentions. What are we really trying to do here? If we're just trying to look cool and have other people think that we're wonderful, well, that's that's one thing. If we're actually trying to help somebody, that's a completely different thing. And these two things are not like one another. It is a common error that we make all the time to polish the turd. You know, we want, we realize in our heart of hearts that, that our motives are not so pure, but we'd like you to think that we're nice folks, so we go ahead and and do it anyway. That's not part of right speech, and that's what the Buddha meant when he said to abstain from false speech. Now, this precept is for the laity, but it applies to the monastics as well, and we'd say it applies to everybody else, too. Just a reminder the 19th, 20th, 24th, and 25th episodes are listed on the playlist Deadly Sins, Precepts, and Their Opposites, and you're invited to take a look at those. Please take a look at the description box, and you will find the table of contents for the book Daily Dhamma, A Letter to Our Children. You'll also see playlists for this YouTube broadcast and you can take a look at what's contained in them we highly recommend them if you're of a mind please like and subscribe to the channel and if you wouldn't mind dropping by amazon and picking up a, a book there it's available in kindle and paperback form and happy trails to you until we meet again